uh, halfway on uh, chapter 5. So today we will continue with chapter 5. So let us just go through again what have we done in chapter 5 so far. Okay. So chapter 5 talks about CPU scheduling. Okay. Uh, so we have understood what is this, uh, what is CPU scheduling. Uh, we have understood uh, what is the what is the meaning of short-term scheduler, preemptive, non-preemptive, and we've also highlighted a few uh, of the algorithms. Uh, the first one is first come, first serve, meaning to say the first process in is the first process to be processed, and we've also calculated the waiting time for each process, and we've also calculated the average waiting time. Uh, next, we have the shortest job first, meaning the shortest job or the shortest process uh, that comes to the system, that comes to the processor will be processed first. Uh, example kat sini, okay, the bus time here means the processing time, okay. So all of this process arrives at the same time, okay, arrives at time zero. So when they arrive at time zero, the CPU, or oh, sorry, the operating system, will choose which is the shortest job that needs to be processed first. So in this example here, burst time figure is the shortest. So this will be processed first and then continued by six and then continued by seven and continued by eight. So this is how it looks like P4, P1, P3 and P2. So when we say the average waiting time is you calculate the waiting time for each of this process. Okay, for each of this process. Okay, <clears throat> so assuming all of this process comes at time number, uh, time zero, so process four akan masuk dulu, and then process one, process three, and process two. Kenapa process four masuk dulu? It's because the, the burst time is the uh, shortest. Okay, and then the second one is process number one, and then the third one is process number three, and the fourth one is process number two. Okay, so you not calculate uh, if you want to calculate the uh, waiting time for for each process, not the average, yeah, the waiting time dulu. Okay, kalau kita nak calculate the waiting time of this process is simply by calculating the uh, uh, is looking at for each process. For example, process for dia sampai at time zero so dia masuk at time zero so it does not have to wait so that's why the waiting time is zero over here okay p1 dia sampai at time zero dia cuma masuk at time three so the waiting time untuk proses p1 is three p3 pula dia sampai at time zero dia masuk at time number nine okay so it has waited for nine seconds before it can be processed and P2, it came at time 0 and it went in only at time 16. So it waited for about 16 seconds before they start process. Okay. And this is 24 means from 16. So time uh, P2, they have first time ialah 8. So 16 plus 8 is 24. All right. So bila kita nak kira average waiting time, we plus all the waiting times for each of this process, Divided by 4, 4 is the total number of process, we get 7. So the answer for this is the average waiting time for each process is 7 seconds. Okay, 7 seconds from here. Okay, next we look at shortest remaining time. Okay, shortest remaining time, meaning what is the remaining time which is the shortest? The remaining bacteria, right? So in this example, the process arrives at different times. Okay, they sampai at different different times. So P1 sampai at time zero. The processing is eight eight seconds. Okay, uh, processing is eight seconds. Uh, P2 arrives at time number one, four seconds. P3 arrives at two and uh, processing time is 9, P4 arrives at 3, and the processing is 5, okay? So in shortest remaining, okay, shortest remaining time first, 
we use it, uh, we do it as preemptive shortest job first. What is what is the meaning of preemptive? Preemptive means bila ada proses lain yang baki dia lagi kecil, proses yang tengah uh, diproses will be asked to come out and the new process will go in. Preemptive means dia boleh bertukar proses. Okay, dia boleh bertukar proses. When we say non-preemptive, it means that the, once the process gets to get the CPU, dia akan proses sampai habis. Okay, that is the meaning of non-preemptive. Preemptive means, let me, if you are wait, if the process is being processed, tiba-tiba ada proses lain masuk and process tu, dia punya uh, job dia pendek, waktu processing time dia pendek, so the current process akan keluar and the new process will go in. Alright. So, in this uh, diagram here, P1 comes in first. Okay, P1 comes in first. So, P1 comes in first, dia dapat proses selama satu saat. Okay. So, at time number one, time number one, dia berhenti sekejap, dia check. Okay, CPU stop for a while, dia check. Oh, P2 dah masuk. P2 dah masuk and the processing time is four. Okay. Since P1 dah masuk dulu, baki dia ialah tujuh. Sebab dia dah buat one second. So, 7 and 4, 4 is shorter than 7. So, process 2 akan continue. Dia akan continue. So, dia akan buat selama 4 saat. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sampai 5. Bila sampai 5, okay, dia refer balik. Selama uh, between 1 to 5, process 2 dah sampai, process 3 dah sampai. Okay. Process 2 dah sampai, process 3 dah sampai. So, if we go back here, when process 2 is at time number 2, dia dah buat 1 kan? Dia dah buat 1. So, baki dia 3, dia akan compare dengan process 3. 3 and 9, 3 lagi pendek. So, continue dengan process 2 sampai 3. So, 3 dia stop lagi. Dia tengok, oh P4 dah masuk. Baki dia 5, eh, dia punya processing time dia 5. And kat sini dia dah buat 2. So, berapa, apa tu? Processing time dia baki dia 2. So, 2 and 5, 2 is the shortest again. So, that is why P2 will continue until P5. So, sampai P5, check balik dengan diagram ni, there is no process yang masuk dah. Okay, semua dah masuk dah. Semua dah sampai. Okay, so now, process 2 dah habis, tinggal P1, P3 and P4. Between P1, P3 and P5, eh, sorry, between P1, P3 and P4, P4 is the shortest. So that's why P4 dia akan buat sampai 10. Because they start at 5, they, they habis at 5. Okay. And then stop 10. Alright. So P4 pun habis, P2 pun habis. So baki dia ialah P3 and P1. So compare between P3 and P1, P3 and P1, 9 and 7. Okay. So 7 is the shortest. P3 is 9. So, 9 tu lambat lah. Besar lah. Alright. So, that's why P1 will continue until 17. Dia akan buat 7 je. Stop. And then continue dengan P3. P3, 9. So, 17 plus 9. You get 26. Okay. Alright. So, now we calculate the, every, the waiting time for each process. Alright. The waiting time. Untuk this section here, P1 plus ini. This P1 Dia sampai at zero, dia masuk at zero. So, it does not wait. So, the waiting time for P1 in this box here is zero. Okay. Now, look at this. Alright. So, between P1 on this block to this one, it has waited how long? How long has it waited? It has waited for nine seconds. Okay. So, dia habis dekat satu, dia sama balik at sepuluh. So, ten minus one, nine seconds. Right, and then we go on to P2. P2 came in at one, they masuk at one, so the waiting time is zero, one minus one. Because they sampai at one, they masuk terus at one. Okay, so the waiting time is zero. Yeah, all right. Next, we go on to P3. Okay, P3, they masuk at two, they sampai, sorry, they sampai at two, they masuk at 17. So 17 minus 2, it has waited for 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds. All right. And last but not least, P4 is sampai at 3 here and dimasuk at 5 seconds. 
So it has waited for 5 minus 3, 2. All right. So these are the waiting time. And then in our average, we divide it by 4. So this 6.5 here is the average waiting time in the process process. All right. So in shortest remaining time first, we look at the burst time, which is the shortest burst time here yeah, kind of a priority into what process to so the process. All right. Next, we go in into priority scheduling. So priority scheduling, <coughs> each process, there are dual category. <coughs> so two preemptive and non-preemptive. Preemptive means color process it to start the process, it will continue until it finishes. Color non-preemptive, they can they can check in a process of like so they can check. If the new process has higher priority, maka process ni akan masuk. Okay. So, setiap process, each process which comes in, they have the priority here. Okay. Why? Because of the problem of starvation. Starvation. Okay. Starvation means if the process has lower priority, process tu mungkin takkan di process sampai bila-bila. Example, let's say <coughs> there are five processes. Let's say there are five process. And process number three has the lowest priority. So, bila process enam, contohnya enam, tujuh, lapan, sepuluh masuk. And if that, those process have higher priority, maka process tiga ni takkan dia process sampai sepuluh bila sebab priority dia sangat-sangat rendah. Or maybe we have aging. So, the solution is aging. So, you increase the priority, naik the priority dia. So, let's look at this example over here. This is <coughs> priority scheduling dalam bentuk non-preemptive. Non-preemptive means the process will be processed sampai habis. Okay, let's look at this. P1, P5. This is arrival time, meaning all of this process sampai at the same time. Now, <coughs> the operating system needs to choose between process 1 to process 5. Process mana yang harus di process first. So, dalam example non-preemptive priority, it looks at a priority number here. If the number is small, maka priority dia besar. If the number is big, then the priority is very low. Okay? So, kalau kita tengok sini, number one is the highest and number five is, sorry, number, uh, number one is the highest and number five is the lowest priority, meaning it's not important. So priority number one, the lowest priority means, that means it's, it's not important lah, it's not important. If the number is small, maksudnya it's very, very important. If the number is big, that means it's not important. So since all of this process come at the same time, so all of this process will be processed like this. So P2 comes in at time zero. Immediately it gets processed. First time dia ialah satu. Again, what is first time? First time ialah processing time. So dia process habis. Sampai satu. Pada masa uh, time satu, tak ada proses baru sampai, semua proses dah sampai. Now, operating system will choose between three, four, five and two. So three, four, five, two, which is which has the highest priority? P5. Because number is dual. Ingat, because the smallest number is the highest priority. So they can process. So 1 plus 5 is 6 over here. Next, so P5 dah habis. Okay. So next, they can check balik. Which is the number? Okay. Next is the P1. Because P1 has priority 3. 3. P, uh, P, P3 is 4. Is 4. And P4 is 5. So P, P1 will be processed until 60. 10 plus 6 is 60. Next is process P3, 4, so 6, sorry, it's uh, 2. Okay, so 6 plus 2 is 18. And last is P, P4, so priority di paling besar. Okay, is the lowest priority. The number is so big here, 5, so that's the lowest. So it's first time here, 1, so 18 plus 2, 18 plus 1 is 19. Next, we calculate the average waiting time. So, the waiting time for P0, P2 is 0. So, what is sampai at 0? 
dia masuk at zero. P5 dia sampai at zero, dia masuk at one. At one. P1 dia sampai at zero, dia masuk at six. At six. P3 dia sampai at zero, dia masuk at sixteen. And P4 dia, dia sampai at zero, dia masuk at Okay, so sampul semua ni divided by the number of process. So you get the average waiting time untuk semua proses ni ialah 18.2. 18.2. Okay, if you have any questions, please stop me and ask me. Eh? Okay, so this is non-preemptive. Eh? Non okay, in this example pula, we have the same thing, but we have it in preemptive. Preemptive, meaning the process can come in and go out. Tak habis pun dia kena keluar. Okay. So, in this example here, we have a few process yang arrival time dia berbeza. Okay. The arrival time is different. But, and the priorities are all also different. Okay. So, P2 arrives at 0. P3 arrives at 3. P4 arrives at 5. P1 arrives at 10. P5 arrives at 12. Okay. So, since P2 sampai dulu and there is no process, Walaupun priority sini lagi besar, tapi since it arrives first, it does it first. Okay? So, P2 sampai, so terus masuk. At time 3, the operating system, dia akan check, oh, ada P3 masuk. So, P3 masuk, dia punya priority di 5. Okay? So, this is a very low priority. So, number dia besar and number ni kecil. So, dia continue dengan P2 sampai saat yang ke 5. Pada saat yang kelima, okay, so kat sini dia dah buat lima dah. So, burst time dia, baki dia ialah 12 minus 5 is 12 minus 5 berapa? Uh, 7. Okay, 12 minus 5 7. Yeah, 7. Okay, 7. Okay, so 7 baki dia. Okay, 7. Uh, okay, so P4 sampai. Okay, so compare. 1, priority 1 and priority 2. So one is bigger, so dia akan continue dengan P4. P4 buat sampai saat yang ke-10, dia stop for a while, dia check. Okay. Okay, sampai kat time 10, dia check, oh P1 masuk, oh priority dia 4. This number is big, so continue dengan P4 sampai saat yang ke-9. Kenapa dia berhenti kat 9? Sebab First time dia ialah 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9. So sampai at 9. Yeah. Okay. Habis. Habis kat sini dah. Okay. So now, now the time is 9. Okay. Now the time is 9. Ada tak proses baru sampai? Tak ada. So continue balik dengan P2. Okay. Continue balik dengan P2 until habis. So now it's 16. By time 16, semua kedua-dua proses lain dah sampai. So, buat uh, P3 pula, uh, P5. Kenapa dia buat P5? Sebab dia punya priority 3 sampai habis. And then continue balik dengan P1 sebab dia priority dia 4. And last is priority dia uh, P3 sebab priority dia paling besar which is number 5 dia. So, sampai habis. Alright. So, now we calculate the waiting time for each of these boxes. Example, P2 sampai at 0 masuk at 0. So, the waiting time for P2 in this particular box is zero. Okay, yang ini pula, P2, it started at 9. Kat sini, dia berhenti kat 5. So, it waited for about 4 seconds before dia masuk. Okay, P4, dia sampai at, sampai at 5, dia masuk at 5. So, waiting time dia kosong. P5, dia sampai at 12, dia masuk at 16. So, it has waited for 4 seconds. P1, dia sampai at 10, dia masuk at 22. So, waiting time dia ialah 12. P3, it arrived at 3, dia masuk at 32. So, dia wait selama 32 tolak 3 sama dengan 29. Okay. So, that is the waiting time. So, average waiting time, campurkan semua, bahagikan dengan apa namanya, bahagikan dengan lima proses. Okay, are you with me? Ada orang tak faham?
okay ke okay sir okay sir okay sir okay next we go into round robin so round robin when you hear the word round robin it deals with time quantum meaning each process will be given a certain time habis tak habis dia kena keluar okay and is preempted preempted mean preemptive uh, preemptive means habis cukup time tak habis keluar okay preemptive means uh, preempted means even though process itu habis but because the time masa dia dah di, uh, habis dia kena keluar okay so let us look at this example Example with round robin with time quantum 4, meaning each process dia akan bagi part sahaja. P1, P2, P3 arrive at the same time. P1, 24, P2, 3, P3, eh, sorry, P2, 3 and P3, 3. What does burst time mean? The processing time. So P1 arrives at time 0, dia akan masuk. 4 saat, stop, masukkan P2 pula. Okay, masukkan P2 pula. Okay. So P2 takes only 3 seconds. Walaupun dia beri 4, tapi dia cuma 3. So habiskan cuma 3. Stop. Masukkan P3 pula. 3 sampai 10. Habis. Stop. And then P4, P1 again. Balik. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Sampai total dia 24. Okay. So this is 4. Campur lagi 4. Uh, 4, 4, 8. 12. 16, okay, 22 and 24. Eh, 16, 20, 24 here. Okay. So, round robin means you have a time quantum. Each process is given certain time only. Habis tak habis, dia kena keluar. Alright. Alright. Let's go in into a bit more. This is not all you can read on yourself. Let's go in into another one. I mean, it's too Red monolith monotic scheduling oh, red monotic scheduling lo lo uh, looks at priority okay priority block. the shortest period and the high priority longest period low priority okay okay <clears throat> in red monolithic scheduling you are given certain process kat sini saya buat t lah t tu task task process sama lah and you're given the capacity and the period. Meaning to say, kalau kita baca yang T1 ini, within 20 seconds, the task dia ialah hanya 3 saat sahaja. Setiap 20 saat, dia buat 3 saat sahaja. Setiap 20, dia buat 3. Setiap 20, dia buat 3. Setiap 20, dia buat 3. Kalau T2 ni, Setiap lima, dia buat dua. 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 Okay. T tiga, sama juga setiap sepuluh saat, dia buat dua. Setiap sepuluh saat, dia buat dua. Alright. So, in red monolithic ni, dia punya trick dia ialah, first, you determine what is the maximum time given. Maximum untuk semua proses. So, we look at the period kat sini. So, the period for all of this process, kita cari nombor yang sama. So, kalau dalam matematik, this is called uh, least common method. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, gandaan sepunya terkecil lah kot eh. So, for all of this period is 20. Okay. That means the maximum time is 20. Okay. So, contohnya, Dalam 20 ni, dalam satu line ni, 20 ni, setiap 20 saat, T1 akan run 3 sahaja. Stop. Setiap 20 uh, dalam dalam 20 ni, for every 5, 5 dalam tu, proses 2 akan buat 2, 2, 2, 2. Untuk proses 3, dalam 20 ni, dia bahagikan kepada 10. So every 10 dia akan buat 2, 2, 2, 2. So before you draw this diagram bawah ni, you kena buat dia punya uh, 
dia punya priority first priority uh, gambar priority so untuk uh, rate monolithic uh, scheduling we look at the period and the smallest number is the highest priority again i repeat myself the smallest period is the highest priority that means for every five second t2 will process dual saat sahaja for every 10 second t3 akan proses dual sahaja for every 20 second t1 will process one only eh, tiga only right so kita lukis dulu t3 all right so buat satu garis sampai 20 kenapa 20 sebab maximum pun 20 je so 20 so for every 10 dia buat dua okey dia buat dua for every 10 dia buat dua okey habis t2 pula for every 5 dia buat dua 5 this is become 10 buat dua 15 dua 20 dua t1 sepanjang-panjang so, 20 ni tiga saat sahaja tiga saat sahaja Alright, now we draw the diagram. Diagram ni a bit tricky ya. Yeah? So priority dia ialah T2, T3 dan T1. So apa, whatever it is T2 must run first because it has a small period of number. So the number, when the period is small, the number is small, then it has the highest priority. So T2 and then T3, then T1. Alright. So at time zero, T2 akan buat. Berapa banyak dia buat? Dia buat dua sahaja. Dua. One, two. Kenapa dia buat dua? Sebab capacity dia pun dua. Capacity means the processing lah. So that means for every five second, dia akan proses dua sahaja. Right? So what will do? Habis. And then T3 pula. T3 buat berapa? Dua juga. Pak, pak, dua. Habis. And then dia buat balik, ok, so dah habis dah and then dia buat T1 dia cuma buat satu sahaja kenapa dia buat satu sahaja kenapa sepatutnya dia buat tiga right, dia buat satu sahaja sebab bila sampai masa yang kelima kat sini T2 akan proses the second one dia lah ha, dia akan proses the second one kat sini, nampak tu can you see here, T2 lima so stop, T1 stop, buat T2 boleh. 1, 1. So dah buat 2. Stop, habis. So now time is 7. Okay, time is 7. Boleh tak dia buat T3? Tak boleh. Sebab T3 dah dah habis dah. T3 dah dibuat di sini. Sebab dia dalam kiraan 10 kan. Kiraan 10 baru dia buat 2. Dah dah buat dah 2 kat sini. Okay. So now dia akan continue balik dengan T1 sebab T1 tadi baru buat satu. So dia buat satu lagi, satu lagi sampai sembilan. At time number nine, T3 tak ada, tak ada buat apa-apa sebab T3 dah buat dah. So dia T3 masih dalam dah masih dalam kategori sepuluh ni. So cannot do anything. T2 dah buat dah. Dua kat sini, dua kat sini. Dah buat dah. T1 dah habis dah. Dah habis dah. So, dia dalam 20 sepanjang banyak 20 dia buat 3 je. So dia dah buat 1 here, 2 here. So dah 3 habis. So the between 9 and 10 there's nothing. Tak ada apa-apa. Kosong. Okay now 10 pula. 10. So yang start ialah ada T2 boleh boleh start. T3 pun boleh start. So based on priority T2 kena jalan dulu. So T2. Buat 2 sahaja. Kenapa buat 2? Sebab capacity dia 2 sahaja. Okay, buat dua. Habis. Stop. Alright. Now, ten yang kedua. This one here. T3 akan buat another two. Okay, buat another two sampai fourteen. Okay. Stop. Fourteen. Fourteen, nothing happens. Because T2 pun dah buat. Dah buat dah kat sini. And T3 dah habis dah. Sebab dia dalam sepuluh-sepuluh. Sepuluh yang pertama dia dah buat dah dua. 10 yang berikutnya dia dah buat 2 dah. So habis. Okay. So dia start balik 15. 15 cuma tinggal T2 sahaja kat sini. Dah 2. 
So dia buat dua kat sini. Sampai habis. Sampai 17. So between 17 to 20, there's nothing else. Sebab between 0 to 20, T1 only does 3. So dia dah buat dah. T1 dah buat satu kat sini and dua kat sini. Dan habis. T2 dah buat 2, 4, 6, 8. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Dan. T3 between 10 and 10, dia buat cuma dua sini, dua sini. So between 0 to 10, dia dah buat dua sini habis and dua sini habis. So nothing. Okay. So this is what we say as the red monolithic scheduling. Okay. So dalam red monolithic scheduling, three things will happen. First, we must determine the period. Okay. This period determines the priority. Okay, period ini determines the priority. The lower the priority, the lower the period, the higher priority. So 5, 10 and 20. So T2 runs first and then T3 and then T1. LCM, lowest common method, ataupun gandaan sepuluh yang terkecil, is 20. Sebab maximum 20 kat sini. Alright, maximum 20. Okay. So capacity means processing time, meaning in every 20 second, T1 akan proses 3, 3 saat sahaja. Okay. This one means for every 5 seconds, dia akan proses 2 minit sahaja, 2 saat sahaja. For every 10 seconds, dia akan proses 2 sahaja, 2 minit. Okay. So 10 dalam 10 saat dia proses 2 habis. 10 saat dia proses 2 habis. Yang ini for every 5 dia proses 2 habis. 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 Sampai 20. Okay. So that is what it means by rate mono, uh, mon, mon, uh, monotonic scheduling. Alright. Next we look at earliest deadline first scheduling. Okay. Earliest deadline first scheduling. Ini pun sama juga. I'll show you this one. Okay, so. Earliest monolithic, mono, monotonic. Oh, macam tonic, eh? Okay, Mo, mon, monotonic. Oh, susah saya nak buat. Deadline mono, uh, monotonic scheduling. Same thing, capacity is given. Period is given, but now we have something which is called the deadline. First, determine the uh, lowest common method here. So, gandaan dia paling besar or paling kecil is 5. So, dalam maximum dia ialah 20. Okay, maximum dia ialah 20. Okay. So, meaning for every 20 second, dia cuma proses 3. For every 5 seconds, dia proses 2 sahaja. For every 10, the process is the worst. So you start drawing. So below you look at number one, you look at the middle. Contohnya, T3. Setiap 10, dia akan proses 2. Setiap 10, dia proses 2. T2, setiap 5, dia proses 2. Setiap 5, dia proses 2. So, ah, uh, here. Setiap lima, dia proses dua. Setiap lima, dia proses dua. T1, for every 20, dia proses tiga. Okay. Now, we look at the deadline. So, the smallest deadline is the highest priority. Deadline yang paling kecil is the highest priority. So, in this case, four is the deadline. So, this is the highest. T2, T1, and T3. So this is the highest, this is the lowest. Okay, so we start with T, now T2 first. Okay, so for every 5, they can put 2 saja. So they put 2, habis. Okay, untuk round pertama, they dah habis. And then, they are going to T1 pula. So T1, for every 20, they put 3 saja. So, dia buat 1, 2, 3. Sampai saat yang ke-5. Okay, stop. 
Bila saat yang kelima Okay So dia akan pilih Either T uh, Saat yang kelima T2 dah boleh masuk dah sebab T2 dalam Bahagian ini pula Tapi T3 belum lagi buat So between T2 and T3 which has the highest priority T2 That is why dia buat dua kat sini Satu dua And then baru masuk T3 So between 0 to 9 Semua dah buat dah Okay 9 to 10 tak ada apa-apa because there's nothing to start At time 10 Dia start balik Dia buat yang ini pula T2 T2 kat sini And then kat sini 10 dia buat 3 pula kat sini oh, Sorry 2 Okay Dia buat T3 selama 2 Kenapa 2? Sebab capacity dia 2 saja. So dia buat 2 Sampai 14 Okay stop That's nothing Pada saat yang ke-15 T2 buat another 2 T3 tak boleh buat sebab dia dah habis dah Dia cuma, dia punya job cuma For every 10 second, 10 second ha, macam tu. So sampai T2 buat sini sampai uh, 17 So 17 to 20, nothing will come Okay, so nothing will come Are you with me? Faham tak? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, for the others are all the same. Okay. Now, let's go back to read me. Okay. I'll give you about five to ten minutes. Can you come up with the average waiting time for me? Based on this example, I want to know what is the average waiting time Untuk semua task Can you calculate that for me? Saya akan bagi masa dalam 5 minutes What is the average waiting time For All of these task kat sini The average waiting time Bukannya waiting time The average waiting time So you kena kira setiap kotak ni punya Waiting time Dapatkan jawapan, divide by 3 Okay Let me just stop this for a while Okay So what is the average waiting time For this one Okay I give you 5 minutes from now Siapa boleh jawab? Just uh, Angkat tangan ke Or type in the chat box Okay, I'll give you five seconds from now. Five seconds. Five minutes from now. We'll start back at 9.50. What is the average waiting time? Eh? Average waiting time.
Okay. Macam mana? Do you all get the answer? What is the average waiting time? Okay. So let's do this. Let's look at this box over here. You have to calculate the waiting time for each box first. Okay. So all of this process arrived at time zero. Because so we assume it arrived at time zero. So T2 arrives at time zero, masuk zero. So this waiting time untuk kotak ini is zero. Kat sini, sama juga because it's straight only. Straight sahaja. Okay, so this is the same. That means this T2 ni dia tak ada lah. It's not different from this. So this box here is waiting time untuk T2 is only zero. Okay, so habis. Next, if we move to this one over here, T2 habis at 2, they start balik at 5. So it has waited for another 3 seconds. So waiting time untuk ini pula 3. Alright. So habis kat sini. Okay. So yang ini dia uh, waiting time dia ialah 0 sebab dia sampai 0, dia terus masuk sampai 2. So dia stop at 2, dia masuk balik at 5. So how long did it wait? It waited for 3 seconds. So, so dia masuk at 5. Dah habis set 2, so dia tunggu selama 3 saat baru masuk balik. So sampai 7. Okay. So untuk this box over here, the waiting time is 3. Alright, so 7. Okay, so 7 kat sini pula. Alright, continue sampai 7 and 10 here. So kat sini T2 stop at 7. Dia restart balik at 10. So wait selama 3 saat. So untuk box ini, Tiga saat waiting time. Stop at 12. We continue balik at 15. So waiting time is another 3 seconds. So you plus all these waiting times together. Okay. So tiga, uh, T3 pula. Waiting time, the first one, 2. So dia start dia sampai at kosong. Dia masuk at 2. Okay, sampai 4. Stop. Okay, stop. Dia continue balik at 12. So 4 and 12, berapa lama dia tunggu? Selama 8 saat. Sampai 14, so habis. So yang ini dia wait selama 2, yang ini dia wait selama 8. Okay. T1, tuan mana T1? Okay, here. Dia sampai at 0, dia masuk at 4. So 4, it has waited 4 seconds. So dia stop at 5. So dia masuk balik at 7. So between 5 and 7, they wait T, uh, T1 waited for another 2 seconds. So 2 here. Uh, itulah. That's how you do it. Okay. So let's just do it here. So T2. The first one here, it waited for 0. Okay, 0. This is done. T2 again here. So waited how long? So from 2 to 5, 5 tolak 2 is 3. Okay, sampai 7. 7, you wait lagi, sampai 10. So 7 to 10 is another 3. Until 12. And then it's sama balik at 15. So 15 minus 12 is 3. Okay, so this is the waiting time for process. Alright, next T, uh, T3 pula. Ini dia wait selama 2 saat. Kenapa 2? Because it arrived at 0, dia masuk baru, uh, 2 second baru dia masuk. Sampai 4. Okay, and then dia masuk balik at 12. So 4 and 12 is 8. So you waited for another 8 seconds here. Okay, habis. Alright, now T1. T1 masuk at 4. Okay, so T1 masuk at 4. Sampai habis, sampai 5. Okay, then dia masuk balik at 2. Eh, sorry, at 5, 7. Dia masuk at 7. So, 5 and 7, 2. Second. Sampai 9. Okay, habis. Habislah. Alright. 
So this is 6. This is 10. This is 9. So the waiting time for T2 is 9 seconds. The waiting time for T3 is 10 seconds. The waiting time for T1 is 6 seconds. So the average waiting time, campur tiga-tiga ni, 6 plus, <coughs> so 6 plus 10 plus 9 is 25. 25 divided by 25, yeah, 25, yeah, 25 divided by 3. So that is the average waiting time. Okay, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> so, sama juga untuk early uh, deadlock, uh, deadline, monotonic, scheduling pun sama juga. Semua arrival at zero, so you just calculate according to this. So, the, this one here, this box here, T1, T2, arrive at zero, masuk at zero, so waiting time dia zero. So, they stop at dua, dia masuk balik at five. So this one waiting time dia ialah 3. Masuk balik, dia stop at 7, masuk balik at 10, so waiting time dia 3. Stop at 12, masuk balik at 15, so waiting time dia 3. Okay, T1, waiting time untuk ni ialah 2, sebab dia sampai at 0 tadi. And then dia masuk balik at, oh dia tak masuk dah habis. Okay, tak lupa. T3, Dia sampai at 0, dia masuk at 7, so waiting at 7. And then dia remasuk balik at 12 over here. So 12 is, 7 minus 12 is 5. Right? So plus all this, divide by 3, that is your average waiting time. Very simple. Okay? Okay. I hope you all uh, get it. Okay? You all get it. And inshallah, you have any questions to ask me? Okay, if you have no questions, thank you so much for attending my lecture today. Uh, again, a very short one, Sajjah. Okay, so remember what we have done today. We have done all the scheduling algorithms. So you need to understand and how, know how to do everything. In this chapter, you have the uh, start of the Hari Dibya lecture. Early, sorry, you have the... Deadline monotonic scheduling over here. Okay, earliest deadline, red monolithic. And then you have the, yang last week I bought two, round robin. Okay, round robin. And then you have priority scheduling. And then you have the priority scheduling, non preemptive. And then you have the shortest remaining time first. And you have the shortest job first and first come first serve. So remember all of this, and inshallah you do, you do fine. Okay, so thank you so much for attending my lecture. I'll see you in the next class. And uh, maybe next class I can start giving you your assignments. Okay, make sure you sign your attendance for today. Then I'll see you in the next class. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, sir. Assalam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're most welcome. Bye-bye.